What's going on guys? Danny here for Metal Couch and 12 Days of Christmas continues today with the second release from the band Horrendous entitled Egdesis. Now, I'd never heard of this band before. It was sent to me um, this morning actually and I decided, hey, you know what? It was released this year. Why not give it a listen and see what I think? And uh, wow, we've got some pretty good death metal here. Um, this album is... Uh, is a bit of a uh, it was a bit of a relief when I started listening to this album because a lot of the death metal that I've listened to lately is just play as fast as you can and scream as loud as you can and um, this one is a departure from that this one is reminiscent of more classic death metal efforts and I applaud them for that uh, however when it comes to the production of it I find that this album has too much of a digital sound to it, and it doesn't feel as organic as it could be, especially when you're trying to go for a retro sound that becomes a problem. It's too conflicting, and to me, just doesn't sound right. But going into this album, it was apparent to me, once we got through the first track, The Stranger, what this album was going to be. I don't necessarily want to say that this album is a knockoff of old school death metal albums. That's not what I'm trying to go with here, but it is very reminiscent of like maybe an early death album before like with tad bits of hey, we're going to move away from the whole play as fast as we can. You know, that kind of era of death, kind of like around spiritual healing and things like that. But this one separates it from stuff like that by doing their own little thing. For example, the guitar tones sound like buzz saws, which I haven't heard in death metal for quite some time. Uh, a lot of the de recent death metal efforts that I've listened to this year have more or less been uh, having a sort of pristine tone. I mean, pristine being that it's not as dirty, as you, kind of sterilized, if you will. And the vocals. Uh, the vocals aren't trying to go for the high-pitched death metal, at least not throughout the entire album. There are moments where that kicks into play, but for the most part, it's very guttural, which I respect that they try to do something a little bit different that you don't really hear anymore. And I mean, take, take Weeping Relic, for example. Weeping Relic, the second track off of the album, starts out at like a moderate pace, and it goes through the entire song and completely takes me off guard within the last... 30 to 45 seconds or so by just going all out super speed and also solo work on this album is phenomenal. This is an album full of twists and turns. You never know where you're going to go next, even to the point where I was completely surprised that the first instrumental on the album was an acoustic instrumental, which threw me off for a second because you don't really get those on death metal albums. And I typically don't like it when bands try to do that whole acoustic, uh, the acoustic song, because it just, it's, a lot of that is just the same to me. It's all, let's play, bass notes, bass notes, dark bass notes, evil chords on acoustics, because they sound even more evil and it sounds dramatic. And I think that's the only detriment to this album, is that instrumental. It's the only track that I really did not like, but the second instrumental, When the Walls Fall, is just a solo fest, and it's pretty good. Overall, without going through all the tracks on this album, because I've been doing that a lot lately, like some highlight tracks, Weeping Relic, uh, Heaven's Deceit, uh, Monarch, Monarch especially, is a damn good song. Um, the album closes with uh, the song entitled Titan, which is relatively slow and very epic in scale, which, again, threw me off. You never really know what you're going to get when you're listening to this album when you turn the next corner. And uh, th that made for a very pleasant listening experience for me. All in all, this was a solid album. Um, never heard of these guys before. I had heard that their first album was kind of like a balls-to-the-wall death metal affair and uh, thinking about giving that a listen just to hear where what their evolution was because uh, supposedly their first album was really really good when it was released back in 2012 I just never heard of these guys before overall giving this album a grade out of 10 I'd give it a 7 
Uh, that instrumental, the first instrumental, I should say, really took away from it. I, I did not enjoy that experience at all. Um, the, the production, the digital sounding production with the retro feel to me was also a huge, huge knockoff. Um, very disappointing in my opinion. But overall, this is a really good album. These guys know what they're doing and I want to hear more from them. So a 7 out of 10 for me. Danny here from Metal Couch, signing out.